Hey everyone, we're here at the Health 2023 conference and our guest is Isabel Hines from Oshi Health. Welcome Isabel. Thank you. So tell us, what's a problem, technology, opportunity, or maybe an issue that not enough people are talking about? Yeah, I, I think one of the main ones that's top of mind for me and one of the reasons we're here as a company is digestive health, gut health is really coming up in the surface. It's been long stigmatized. Mental, It was mental health five years ago. Now everyone's talking about their mental health. A lot of people still aren't comfortable talking about their gut health. It's poop. It's having acid reflux, all those things. But it is something that so many people, one in four Americans, are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's something they can't shut off. And they're not finding the answers they need. The system really isn't set up to support them. And so we're so excited to be here to really carry on that message and introduce people not only to the fact that this is such an issue, but also the innovative models that can be used to address this crisis that has been hidden behind the scenes for so many years. Awesome. And if you could change one healthcare policy or regulation, what would you change and why? Yeah, I think one of the things as we are expanding nationally um, are trying to address is there is a ton of relevant models that have been really localized for so many years. So the leading academic medical centers in the country have these multidisciplinary GI models that use uh, behavioral health, they use dietitians, but a lot of that hasn't been traditionally reimbursed. Um, and just across the country as we scale, Cross-licensure is really, really hard, um, and that's something that we're trying to, A, do, get cross-licensed so we can serve the entire country with our multidisciplinary model, which is getting credentialing uh, for our GI provider, our behavioral health physicians, as well as our dietitians um, and our entire system of care. Um, but doing that, one of the things that is holding us back candidly is there can be so much that we can do as a country and at the national level to make that cross-licensure a lot easier so that these virtual models that we are trying to expand and scale access to in an affordable way can really reach the people that need it. Awesome. Thanks, Isabel. Yeah.